You want to know something? I'm pretty weird. You've probably noticed by now, but I don't look like other YouTubers or act like you, other YouTubers. I don't make content like other YouTubers. Hell, I'm not like most other people. I look weird. I act weird. The things I like are weird. My sense of humor is weird. Everything about me is weird. And I think I like that. I think the first thing that really set me apart was my Appalachian roots growing up in a small town called St. Paul, Virginia, in the hills of Appalachia. We were definitely rednecks. We were definitely hillbillies. And honestly, when I was growing up, I kind of hated it. But as an adult, I've realized that this small town way of life, this quaint way of life is kind of great. I got a really decent education. I got to know most of the people that lived in my area. It was smaller and close knit. And we had some cool values and some cool stuff. And it's certainly not the way that your average American grows up, certainly not in New York or California or even in Arkansas. But I, I think I really liked the way I grew up. Even though I had to lose the accent, even though I had to grow out of it, I, I kind of miss that area. And I'm glad that I chose to live in smaller towns as an adult. I think it suits me. Another thing that set me apart as a kid was that I definitely got pretty fat pretty early on. Uh, I was a fairly normal looking kid up until I started taking allergy shots and something really shifted there and I put on the pounds. My family also kind of set us apart. I mean, we grew up very, very poor, but my dad being an alcoholic and troubled and my mom being troubled, but also a, a preschool teacher, people had extreme feelings about our family. Either they really liked my mom or they really hated us. And everybody had a preconceived notion. I mean, everybody has a reputation in the small town but because of the poverty we were coming from, because of the family troubles we were having, everyone had a preconceived notion of who and what I was before I ever met them, and they definitely treated you like the person they thought you were. High school, elementary school, both were pretty hard. I mean, I got it from everybody. I got bullied from the kids, but the teachers treated me like crap too because they didn't like my parents. And so for the most part, it was a, a struggling experience. And I think for some people, when you're getting treated differently because you're poor, because you're heavy, because you're mentally unwell, I think it encourages some people to snap in the line. They want to lose the weight. They want to look like a more normal person. They want to make the money. They want to distance themselves from their family. But for some people like me, honestly, it just made me want to be more weird. It made me comfortable in my weirdness. And I just, I didn't understand why everybody felt the need to judge. I think people bully for a reason. I think they're trying to get people to fall in line. But since there were so many factors in my life, like my weight or my finances or my family history, things that I knew I couldn't change, I just didn't mind being weird. And I never really liked any of the mainstream stuff. I couldn't get into sports and I didn't get invited to the high school parties. And it was hard for me to date and all these other things. So what I ended up doing instead was just getting weirder. I started going to the game shops and playing Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering and I, I started playing Nintendo and finding other people that liked that hobby and even though that set us apart as being weird, I didn't really care. In fact, I kind of liked it and I made it part of my identity. I liked being weird. I've never liked being fat, I should say. But I've also never really understood why it upsets people so much, why they decide that it's something they need to make fun of or try to bully me out of. I mean, it's my body. It should be my choice. I should be able to do whatever I want to with it. If I want to get a Pac-Man tattoo, that's great. If I'm going to be morbidly obese, that's great. It's unhealthy. It's not fun. I don't like being fat. I don't like the way I look in a mirror. But it just doesn't bother me anywhere near as bad as it bothers people in the comment section. I, I just don't get it. I also never understood why people would pick on you for being poor. That's not something that you can fix, especially when you're a child. I never understood why people would pick on me for having a crazy family members. I definitely didn't choose that family, and if I could make my mom sane, I definitely would have. So I guess it shouldn't make too much of a surprise that they made fun of me for my body size as well. At least that's a little bit more in my control. And now as an old man, I just am aware I'm never gonna be normal. And I don't particularly want to be. I, I physically, sure, I'd like to lose some weight. But I don't want to give up on my hobbies like video games and collecting dumb shit. I don't want to give up on the fact that I always wear black t-shirts and black sweatpants and the same shoes every day that just happen to be Crocs. I, I don't care about that stuff. I don't even understand why other people do care about it. But I know I don't. And I'm not going to change any of that stuff to please other people. I, it pleases me to be the way I am. So I'm, I'm going to be this way.
When I made the choice to just embrace being weird instead of trying to be normal, I thought it was one of the most unusual people in history and one of the few people to do it, but honestly, when you look back at history, there are tons of differently abled, differently bodied, differently minded people who just took it and embraced it and ran with it. And I'm obviously talking about the freak shows, you know, the bearded ladies and the fattest guy and all of that stuff, but what about the body modification people? I think we do this stuff for a reason, and I think the reason we do it is because we know we'll never be normal, so we may as well do whatever the hell we want. Maybe we could dye our hair, or get the piercings, or, or sharpen our teeth, or get all the tattoos that we want, because we're never going to be normal, so let's just get weird with it. And I think you see this happening everywhere all the time now. It's nice if you're born a beautiful person and you look beautiful and you act beautiful and you're just average and normal and, and you do average and normal things, but some of us are born different and that's okay. And I think it's okay to embrace it and choose to be different. I don't understand the backlash. I don't understand why people are so upset. I'm not asking you to be weird. I'm not asking you to tolerate me being weird. I just want to be left alone in my own little weird corner. And I think that's the best way to live life. Like you worry about you and I'll worry about me, but I have no problem being weird and proud. I have no problem showing my body in public. I have no problem showing my hobbies. I have no problem talking about my mistakes or my failures or the good things I've done. I don't mind. I genuinely don't mind. I like to think that it makes me feel more comfortable in my own body and in my own life. And by doing that, hopefully someone who sees me being proud, who sees me being open, hopefully it makes them feel more comfortable in their own body and their own mind as well. That's one of my largest goals is to make other people know that I'm weird too, and they're not alone. So I think I'm gonna keep on being weird. In fact, I think I'm gonna continue to embrace it. Because I, number one, I don't think I have a lot of a choice. I think my brain and my body is just always going to be fairly different, and that's okay. I'll continue to work on losing the weight, but even when I do, I'm still gonna look like an empty potato sack. So I think I'm always going to be weird. And in fact, I don't think I mind it anymore. In fact, I think I really, really enjoy it and i do this full well knowing that people are going to continue to get angry about it and react negatively about it and i'm going to get bullied about it online and in real life and it's going to affect my career in negative ways and that's just how it is but by god being weird makes me happy i like being who i am and i don't think it would serve me to pretend i'm someone else anyway but i know it's going to continue to upset people but to me that's the weird behavior why are you so upset about who somebody else is or what somebody else is doing? Why don't you worry about yourself? The only time I'm ever worried about you guys is when I know that you're happy and know that you have enough that you need. And if you're happy and you're well provided for, then I don't really have much else to say. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. And that's how I think it should be. Some of us are never going to look the way you want us to look. Some of us are never going to act the way you want us to act. We're not going to vote the way you want us to vote. We're not going to talk or live the way you want us to. We're not going to worship your God. We're going to be individuals. And uh, some of us are going to be really weird individuals like me. And if you've got a problem with that, that sounds like it's your problem, not mine. So if you're watching this and you want to conform, I recommend that you do. It's great if you're able to pull it off and you can be like one of the beautiful people, there's nothing wrong with that if that's your choice to make, but consider making the other choice and taking what's unique about you and weird about you and embracing it. Uh, I did it. I'm not so sad that I did, and I don't think you'll be upset that you chose it either. But until next time, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon. Now promise me you'll stay with me.